broadcast by a number of high-powered radio transmitters operating deep in the Soviet Union since July 4, 1976. Though the official Defense Department explanation of the woodpecker is that it is an over-the-horizon radar designed to track U.S. missile launches, some uh, scientists suspect uh, that the woodpecker is designed to interfere with human uh, brain function. As far as I'm concerned, uh, the potential that this has for producing a direct psychoactive effect upon the total American population is there, has never been disproven. Dr. Robert Becker is a pioneer in the field of bioeffects of electromagnetism. Uh, the signal range within which the woodpecker operates is that which has been reported by many investigators to produce a tranquilizing effect upon that. I've done better than that. You'd think you'd know his name. Every time you switch on a light or turn on your radio, his contributions are as far-reaching as those of Albert Einstein, Isaac Newton, or even his nemesis, Tom Edison. This mysterious, tall, dark Serbian invented alternating current, wireless communication, the modern electric motor, basic laser and radar technology, X-rays, neon, robotics, remote control and cellular technology, and even Star Wars tactical warfare, all over a hundred years ago. Yet today, who's ever heard of Nikola Tesla? How could history overlook such an incredible legacy? During his last moments on Earth, he no doubt asked himself the same question, lying in a forgotten hotel room, alone and penniless, now 86 years of age. This is where our story begins. On that final night in January 1943, Nikola reflected on his life in near delirium. The flashes of light. I never had control over the flashes. They are so tormenting. Unstoppable images would flood his mind, accompanied by powerful flashes, like countless times before, due to a strange lifelong condition of his. When the word was spoken to me, the image of the object would appear vividly. And sometimes I was unable to distinguish whether what I saw was tangible or not. This caused me great discomfort and anxiety. In the murky light of the hotel room, he'd speak with ghosts from his past. Wearing white gloves when starting experiments. He was a mystic who wrote and recited poetry and could speak six languages, yet he couldn't help his idiosyncrasies. People had no idea that he battled hallucinogenic episodes daily. I have seen all the air around me filled with tongues of living flame. Their intensity, instead of diminishing, increased with time. He was also described as a maniac for cleanliness and would avoid handshakes and fought an array of deep-seated phobias and compulsions. All repeated acts or operations I performed had to be divisible by three and if I missed, I felt impelled to do it all over again, even if it took hours. He learned to control his runaway mind with supreme discipline. Tesla. He developed Tesla's alternating current the electrical current that we use to power our homes and appliances. It was also Tesla who put man on his quest to control the weather. He developed a chilling theory for controlling the weather using extremely low frequency waves, or ELF. Imagine what great secrets this mad scientist kept locked inside his head. No one except J. Edgar Hoover and his G-men. They waited patiently for the great man to pass, and were ready to take everything that Nikola left behind. This story is about a man whose powerful ideas live on, as much of his work is still classified and used in the most esoteric projects imaginable today. HARP is comprised of 180 antennas, approximately 72 feet tall, linked together to function as one giant steerable antenna. Steerable because it can aim millions of watts of ELF waves into one tiny patch of the atmosphere. The amount of energy we're talking about here is 3.6 million watts. To give you an idea of what that is, 
the largest legal AM radio station in North America is 50,000 watts. HARP is 72,000 50,000 watt radio stations injecting their entire output into a spot that's about 12 miles across by about two and a half miles deep by about 90 miles up. This is where HARP is pointing. It's an area located roughly 300 miles from Anchorage. The U.S. military says HARP is merely being used to study the physical and electrical properties and behavior of the ionosphere for both civilian and defense purposes. But another theory has surfaced. The intense energy being beamed into the sky by HARP is actually heating up the atmosphere, causing weather changes. HARP is being used for weather modification. The military's own record proves it. They've admitted it within their own documents and yet they still deny it to the public. Dr. Brooks Agnew has researched ELF wave technology for the past 30 years and is convinced HARP's effect on the ionosphere does alter the weather. HARP couldn't affect the jet stream directly, but indirectly it could, because if you push the ionosphere out into space, then the stratosphere just under the ionosphere has to move to fill in that gap. When it moves, it could pull the jet stream with it, thus rerouting it hundreds of miles, changing the way water moves through our atmosphere. Dr. Agnew has devised a demonstration to show how HARP could manipulate the atmosphere. So what we've done is we've got a cloud generator up here. It's an ultrasonic nebulizer. It's going to create real water particles, just like you would find in a cloud. What we're seeing now is we're actually filling this chamber with uh, microscopic water particles. You can see that it's almost completely filled with water vapor. It's beginning to condense a little bit on the sides, just so that you can see the detail. We've got a nice dense fog, just like you were sitting inside a cloud at 50,000 feet. At the bottom of the cloud chamber, Dr. Agnew has constructed an ELF wave transmitter, a miniature version of HARP. We're only using 100 watts. It's perfectly safe. When Dr. Agnew turns on the ELF wave transmitter and begins shooting ELF waves into the simulated cloud, the cloud begins to move up to the top of the chamber, taking the moisture with it. If you get down low enough, you can actually see a clear layer above the antenna. It is actually pushing these water particles up. April 21st, you said that the, you told the Associated Press uh, that the American government has created weather tampering techniques so that the new world order will be able to starve millions of Americans and to control the rest. Would you explain what you were trying to say? Well, it, it, what I was trying to say is exactly what I said. There is weather control techniques. We have a complete package on that, which I did not bring, but I certainly will see to it that it is brought in for the record. Number one, the entire patents on the equipment. Number two, Senator Claiborne Pell's complete statement and story of his own that not only does it exist, but that we even utilize it as far back as the Vietnam War. You might want to touch base with Senator.